Hi guys, I'm Gasha. Welcome to the channel and welcome as always to our coffee times to discuss movies in horror. And today we're here to discuss the movie Brooklyn 45. It's coffee time. The movie is written and directed by Ted Gagan and he is responsible also for movies like We Are Still Here and Satanic Panic. As always, we're going to take a look into the film and we're going to talk about it, discuss it, as always, spoiler free. The movie was released in Shudder on the 9th of June. In December 1945, five military veterans decide to reunite. They have been friends since childhood and they've reunited to support their travel host, but when his invitation for cocktails turns into an impromptu sound, the metaphoric ghosts of the past become all too literal. So we have this group of lifelong friends that have decided to have a reunion since one of their friends is going through a rough patch and they decide to gather together. They all have something in common in their past. They've all been marked by the Second World War and they've been scarred and they are still suffering the consequences of what happened. They have all done things in the past that they are not proud of and they're all keeping secrets and they are also physically or mentally traumatized by the things that happened to them. So Clive is the guy that has decided to reunite the friends for this gathering because he's mourning the loss of his wife that committed suicide and the friends get there thinking, you know, he just needs a night with us, play some cards or, you know, smoke and talk and drink together. But Clive, tells them that he has been looking into seances and the occult and he believes that he will be able to connect to his wife's ghost. At the beginning they resist, they don't want, any of the friends don't really want to participate in these seances, they are not believers of this kind of stuff, but they decide to comply and do it because they have their friend Clive, he's grieving and he's asking for help. So they decide to go ahead and try it out, what could happen, it's probably all just bogus. The movie is truly a character exploration. It is the forte of this film. It goes through all the PTSD, all the trauma that these characters have been going through and all the darkest secrets that have been consuming them. And each character is kind of ambiguous. They are all in this gray area. They are all kind of unreliable and that makes the movie even more exciting because you are never really sure of what they're gonna say next, what kind of secrets they're gonna uncover, or what's gonna happen. Brooklyn 45 takes place basically in just one room, and it is a real life play. It's almost like you are watching a theater play. The whole time I was thinking, this just seems like I'm in the theater, these guys are playing on stage, and I'm just watching them act. The first 20 minutes of the movie are basically letting the viewer get introduced to the different characters, who they are, what they've done in the past, what their job was, and it's just to get to know them and make sure that you have a background before the movie really kickstarts. Then we have like around 40 minutes of really slow paced, just monologues, conversations, and um, it is quite interesting. It is truly like watching a theater play. And then the last 30 minutes, just go crazy and that's where the majority of the horror takes place and where things escalate so this is a movie that you need to keep in mind it's going to be for the majority of it for 40 minutes of the film it's going to be very slow paced um and very you know driven by the script and it's just going to be a lot of dialogue now the movie is not that long i think it's on the 1993 minute range so it's not that long but Still, there is a lot of text on the script, so I don't know if it would have been better to trim it down a little bit. But the relationship between the characters, how they are established, how they change throughout the movie, it is quite interesting to see. You feel how close they are, how much they care for each other, and I think that's a very important thing that the director needed to establish um, so that we would understand 
what things that they are saying things that they've been keeping a secret and the things that will unfold in the third and final act brooklyn 45 it is marketed as supernatural ghost movie but it is so much more than that the movie is a deep study on grief and unfinished business of war as experienced by a group who struggles with adjusting to peacetime after the horrors of nazi occupied europe how are they supposed to just go back to normal life and you see that in their heads basically still every german it's a nazi and it's really hard to remove that especially in 45. the horror in this movie comes from supernatural elements it is in a way a movie about ghosts and there is some violence and a little bit of gore in the film but it is more a movie about the ghosts of the past the people that they wear, the people that they have become. It almost felt like a Christmas Carol, you know, but kind of like with a supernatural horror vibe to it, where a character is kind of exploring their past and their future. The characters no longer have an enemy to fight, so they're kind of a little bit left lost without knowing what to do, really. I think the horror of this movie comes a lot more from the psychological horror of things, even though there are some cool visuals that are horrifying, there's a couple of scares and things that happen and that are unsettling, but I don't feel like this is the main focus of the film. And that's what made this movie so special, because this is a movie that revolves around PTSD after war and how people had problems adjusting to being just a normal regular human being again, finding a new purpose in life and it is impossible to forget the things that they have been through so the ghosts of the past are getting the best of them even in the present. We will discover some dark secrets from the characters and it made this movie quite unique and quite entertaining so I think it is a movie that it's going to be quite interesting for people to watch because the majority of people that see the poster might have a different idea of what this movie is going to be about because the poster almost looked like a horror comedy and it's not quite that. I ended up giving the movie a 3 out of 5. I feel like Brooklyn 45 was a interesting new take on the typical seance trope in supernatural movies and they made it more like i said about the ghosts of their past and the things that they had experienced in war it's really about these individuals adjusting to their new reality and trying to cope with the things that they have done and they have seen at the end of the day i do recommend you guys to give it a watch it is currently streaming on shutter i do would like to say that if you are somebody that you need a lot of action-packed moments and a faster paced movie this might not be for you because as i've mentioned before the 40 minutes in the middle of the movie are basically just purely dialogue and it all takes place in just one room which is hard to make but it didn't make the movie boring at all the things that the director utilized in order to bring life and depth into that room were fantastic so this is a movie that i do recommend you guys all right let me know down below if you've seen this movie what you thought of it did you enjoy it did you not <laughs> let's talk about it in the comments thank you guys as always so much for watching and hope to see you all in our next coffee time bye